You expect to find them at your hardware store, not in your dinner. Plus, we're honoring a Lancaster icon with a coveted NBC4 Up to Code Award. Investigator Tom Susie dishes out the details in his Up to Code report. Well, Mike and Katie, it's about an inch long, has threads, and the customer says she found it in her takeout order. I took a bite, fine, took another bite, fine, took a third bite, and this guy was in my food. <laughs> Here's a closer look. At first I thought it was a chicken bone, but then I was like, I didn't order chicken. Tracy Calvert ordered steak fried rice. <laughs> Were you surprised to pull this out of your mouth? Heck yeah. Tracy says she bought the food here at Gen G Go in Grove City. She says she called the restaurant, filed a complaint with the Franklin County Public Health Department, and called me. Tom Susi, NBC4. This worker says she's not aware of the incident, but said she would track down someone who is. A few hours later, I received this email from a company spokesperson. She said a small piece of a prep tool had fallen into the food. She said it's an isolated incident, and the business has taken the necessary steps to ensure such an incident does not happen again. Does this prevent you from going back? Yeah, I think so. And now it's time to honor a restaurant with the NBC4 Up to Code Award. This week's recipient, Rax on East Main Street in Lancaster. Five straight inspections without any critical violations. Congratulations, Joe. Awesome. Thank you very much. Joe Hartman is the manager. He's been with Rax now for the past 13 years. My crew and myself, we work hard. We work every day to try to provide a clean restaurant for the community here, and that's just the key. As for the Rax roast beef sandwich, we make everything fresh, fresh to order. We don't pre make nothing. Rax also has locations in Ireton, Circleville, and soon in Chillicothe. Local for you, I'm an NBC4 investigator, Tom Susie.